So we're not going to use pasta, but we're going to use these really thin ribbons of zucchini to make little cannelloni rolls. They're super cute, like you. Very clever, just like you as well. The filling is really easy. I'm going to let you guys do it. I've got some peas. Oscar, can you get your potato masher and give them a really good mash? I just poured some boiling water over them. So we've got some really nice fresh mint from our garden as well. Mint and peas. Mmm. Oh, it smells fresh. Doesn't it smell fresh? Good combination, mint and peas. And then I slice my zucchini for the cannelloni on this mandolin. Yeah. Then you get these really nice, gorgeous, fine ribbons, which are going to be our cannelloni. So rolls like that. I know, it's going to look really cute. One and a half cups of our firm ricotta, so we get a nice firm filling. Do you guys want to put the eggs in? Sure. sure. <laughs> oh, right over Oscar's finger, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I'm going to move it your way, Oscar, and you can start stirring, cos I need to chop two cups of this beautiful spinach that you guys helped me pick before. Can't get enough spinach. It's one of those vegetables that is just loaded with good stuff. I'm just gonna run my knife through it. Maddie, can you scoop up this spinach and pop that in for Oscar as well? The last ingredient we need is some lemon. Is that good? Yeah, that's great. A little bit of lemon rind. Just take off the yellow. That's where all the lovely lemony flavor's gonna be. So it's a Really yummy combination. The creaminess of the ricotta, the freshness of the peas and the mint. What do you think, Maddie? Yeah, I think that looks like two good. good okay. I'm gonna give that back to you, Oscar. Grab a spoon. I'll show you how to do the first one. Put a little bit on the end for me, and then we're gonna roll it up. I'm gonna put it in the baking dish, and so they stay upright. I've got a little trick. We just pour two cups of tomato puree. And that way, we can nestle our little cannelloni into the tomato puree. They're going to stand up. It'll be nice and saucy on the bottom. Somewhere to put them so they don't fall over. So we just roll them up like that. And then we sit them in there. OK, let's start. Once you get a roll on, it's actually really quick. Look at this, guys. What do you think? They're really pretty. Yeah. They kind of look like maybe because how the roses are kind of curled up. Oh, yeah. maybe a little bouquet yeah. of zucchini cannelloni. I'm just going to sprinkle over a little bit of grated mozzarella because I know you two love cheese. Cheese, yeah. <laughs> you know what? We are done. That's ready for the oven. Cool. What is that? Cool, yeah. So here's the plan. I think it's time that we make our scarecrow. Right. Because we need to scare away those birds from our seeds. Oscar, can you cut my rope just here for me? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Hold the ends of the jeans for me. I'll tie the knot. Start stuffing his shirt right through his pocket and in his arms as well. Yeah, we got to get his arms. Got to get his arms. <sighs> We'll get this one. Make him look like a really big, ferocious scarecrow. What about if we thread a bit of rope through as his belt? Oh, yeah. Do <laughs> Looks like hair. <laughs> yeah, it's Donald, hey? <laughs> Donald, hey. Maybe around here, like down here. And he needs his hat. OK. Good point. Good point. Tuck his hat in, buddy. Look, does he look scary? Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> We're not on a boat, we're in a veggie garden. Let's stand back and see what we think. Oh yeah, hmm. kind of scary, kind of handsome. Yeah. With our scarecrow comfortable in his new home, it's time to put our feet up and enjoy our delicious zucchini cannelloni. Super good. It's super good. You know, I wasn't sure you were gonna love this one. So really? I'm, yeah. Mm.